Hey guys, what is up? So I just want to stop by real quick before this podcast starts. Say you should like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on all my social medias at John D. Clouser. Guys, it's literally the same name as the name that you subscribe to on this YouTube channel. So enjoy this clip, and I'll see you guys on the other side. And this whole thing will be, uh, you'll understand what's going on in probably about like 40 seconds. Let's say about a minute and a half, just because you have to watch this clip, and then after that, I'll explain what's going on with his glasses and all this stuff. But it it it's a good story. All right, all right, all right. What is going on, guys? How are you? Are you guys doing swell? Welcome. If uh, you're a new guest, hope you have you found the place. Uh, this is the John Show, and if you are a returning guest, thank you so much for returning. Hope you're doing swell. Well, guys, we're in like what week three hundred and seven of Corona right now. Um, Hope you guys are staying safe and sound and wearing your masks and them. Um, just wear them. That's all I'm going to say. Just just wear them. Even if it, it's better to have and wear it than not to wear it. Uh, so I thought, uh, you know, I guess I should probably just go ahead and get the, uh, the, what, the, the elephant out of the room. So you guys might be wondering why I'm wearing glasses. Or if you guys are, if you're new. Uh, you are like, why is this guy wearing glasses inside doing a podcast? And the thing is, I don't know. I don't know what I did to my eye. I, I did something to my eye. Uh, it's super blood red. Well, it was. Now it's pretty much laid back and just kind of chill. It's like, I would say it's about like, it's sitting at like 40% red right now. Uh, but I bought these glasses for this. Uh, I bought these glasses before I went and bought some, or I got some steroid. Because I had my one of my doctor friends called in for me. Uh, it's great. One of the one of the funniest things and the great things I realized, you know, when I I've had to have a prescription called in, it's really nice to have friends that are actual adults and you know they're doctors and lawyers and stuff like that. Because when things happen, I can just always rely on them to be an adult and be like, hey, I need your adult opinion on something, or I need your adult help with getting something. Thing for me, please. It'd be really nice. But uh, yeah, I was so I was on a film set and I looked into a, a um into one of the viewfinders and I don't know something from that. And I woke up the next day and it was a little red on the inside part of my left eye. And I was like, well, that doesn't look good. Still wore my contacts though. And then after wearing my contacts, they uh, I realized. Later on in the day, it was like the whole thing was red. And I'm like, oh, that's great. Welcome the next morning. It was completely red. And I was like, this is nice. And I, I'm assuming, I don't know if I scratched my cornea or I like got some sort of like bacterial thing. Because my doctor friend was like, you know, like it looks like it's like slightly bacterial. It, it might be allergies. It might be something else. I don't know. We, we're going to just give you steroids. So I got these drops and I take them three times a day. And that was it. I do that for seven days. And after that, it we sh we'll see if I can wear contacts again. It was beautiful. It was great. But then I, I bought these glasses because I, I was, I was like walking around and like my eyes red. And I'm like, it's like really beat red at the time when I was thinking of this. And I was like, oh, fuck. I'm like, what am I going to do? Because I have to do a podcast still. I'm like, I'm not going to just like, just because of a red eye doesn't mean I'm not going to do a podcast. And so I was like, well, hmm. What can we do? I was like, well, I can just like, acknowledge it, make a big joke about it, uh, you know, and say something like it, it, I feel like the scene from uh, Knocked Up when the guy was trying to go back to his old house and he knocked on his door and then all of his all the roommates had pink eye except one. He's like, you know, I'm just really high. And I was going to say something like, you know, I just I'm just really high right now. Or, you know, be and I don't know. I was just going to be stupid. But then I was like, I was sitting in the sauna. Like I do almost every day. You should do it too. And I was like, hmm, what can I do? And I'm like, how about I get one of those like old people glasses and I'll just wear them 
over my normal glasses. See, this is what it is right now. I don't know if you guys can't really tell. I don't know if you guys can tell if they're that it's red, but it's gotten better. If you guys want to hold on real quick. Boom, I just turned another light on. I have no idea if that helped or not. I don't know. Well, but anyway, I'm going to put my glasses back on for a while. But I, I really like it. It's really fun. I've been walking around out in public with these on. And people look at you weird. They, I, they, I feel like they're like, oh, okay, well, you know, like it's, well, I don't understand why that guy has a pair of glasses on and then he has uglier bigger glasses on over it and the thing is they did they had different sizes too they had like a medium a large and extra large and you know what i got i got the extra large because i, w I wanted to be completely ridiculous when i wore these glasses this week and surprisingly they're a really good pair of sunglasses i would recommend everyone should get a pair they are they're like 21 47 at walmart pretty nice it was a good great deal and uh I'm, even after my eye gets better I'm still going to wear, I'm going to wear these glasses all the time. These are going to be my official like driving glasses. Uh, I feel they protect everything because like they have it on this, they have it on the side here. There's like a screen on the side. They're huge because my glasses, well, what's up guys? What's up? Bow? Huh. See, like easy to take off, great to put back on. And you're like, you're like, you're probably thinking like, John, those are so stylish. Like you, you rock the hell out of those, man. And I'm like, I know. I know I do. And um, ladies, you better watch out because this is how I'm going to be looking when I'm sliding into your guys' DMs on the Instagrams and the Twitters. So I'm just letting you know. It's just I'm a, I, I'm a dad without being a dad. I'm just like, yeah. Like I feel like I have so much swag. I can just pull these off and wear them. I'm lying. These are horrendous glasses. But I think it's, they're, they're so ugly and they're funny to me. And I, and I did it for the joke, honestly. I probably will never wear these ever again after tonight or after my eye gets better, but it's my eyes getting, they're gotten better. So I guess that's what's new with me. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, I have a great story to tell you guys. So I, sh I should probably just go ahead and uh, I won't have enough time to be able to tell you the whole thing. So when, before the Corona hit, I was a associate producer for a film company in Kansas city, Missouri. They based me out of Kansas city cause it's just easier to fly from New York. If I have to go there where we have a, a production house or I have to go to Los Angeles where we have our other production house. And then we have one up in Chicago too. So anywhere I go in the United States, it's going to be pretty easy. And then even when I travel everywhere, it's going to be pretty much equal time in the air, just, you know, time constraints and just easier if you try to like schedule things and make things run smoothly on a time, timely manner. Well, uh, since Corona hit, like that job kind of went down and I can't travel anywhere because I and we just it's not smart now to travel. So I have been working for this uh, retirement resort community. So think about like a giant building that has like you know a bunch of apartment buildings in it, and it looks kind of like a hotel slightly too. And a bunch of old people just live in it, like really rich old Jews. It's great. I love it. It's like they're the best people in the world, like the old rich. Because like a lot of people don't understand how they act. And like they're going to be a little snobby. But the thing is like I'm used to that. Like I love that stuff. And the thing is as long as you're like super excited and super boyish and you're like boyish, I don't think that's a word, super uh, enthusiastic and you smile a lot like I do. And the thing like with me, they're like, they're like look at you, you're a big boy, aren't you? You're just, you probably, you lift weights, don't you? I'm like, yeah, I do. And so it's a, it's a good time for me. Like they enjoy, they enjoy the hell out of me. Well, I've been working there since, I would say the last week of February. And um, great working there, uh, working in the kitchen uh, as a, little chef here flipping this flipping that over there killing this doing that you know i'm being i'm being a houdini pretty much well what we do is we normally hire like temp people every once in a while to come in and like just help us out when we're servers like mostly servers like that's where we hire the temp people for and we hired we hired this temp guy who came in and he i already thought that he was kind of a piece of shit and i you might be like john why are you being so harsh already like you'll understand it about about a minute and a half after I tell you the story. And I, I thought he was kind of a piece of shit because he came in wa wearing one of those, one of those, what are they called, the paper boy hats, you know, from like the 1920s. 
you know, the ones that Samuel Jackson wears and that he can pull off and like only black guys can pull that hat off like no one else. Like there's a reason why they don't wear that in golf anymore. There's a big reason why. And he came in I'm like, mm, huh? And I, I came in and I, I, I talked to uh, the sous chef and I was like, huh? I'm like, why? Uh, why do we have kind of like a piece of shit like working here with a cat with a paper boy hat? Like John. You shouldn't be like that. You shouldn't judge someone like that. I'm like, okay. I'm like, all right, guys. All right. Okay. All right. Well, all right. You'll see. You'll see. I know these people. I can smell this shit. I, I smell that stuff on people. I'm like, mm, you're either going to be a pile of crap or you're going to work really well. I, I, I can see it. And I went to the storage room about two hours later and I saw him in there and I was like, what? The, I'm like, what the hell are you doing over here, buddy? And he's like, oh, I was just trying to figure out if I've used this towel or not. Now, you might be wondering, like, what do you mean by this, John? So he had a stainless steel spray can and he was spraying it into a towel and he was huffing it. I caught a guy huffing and (laughs) I told him, like, you're kind of a piece of shit. And I mean, you need to make better decisions, like not wear that piece of shit hat as well. I'm like, you're not a paper boy, you douche. And I walked out and... (laughs) Cause he, uh, when I was, cause in the whole process I was talking, like, why are you like, what do you mean by you're checking to see if you've used this towel or not? I'm like, you could easily just see if you are, if you, you just touch it and see if it's wet or not. And he's like, like, there's no need to be like sniffing it. And he's like, I'm not huffing. I'm like, I think you're huffing bro. Like you're huffing that towel. And so I walked back down and I went to my boss and I was like, you know, Hey dude, like we have this dude that's in the storage room huffing paint or he's not huffing paint, but he's huffing uh, stainless steel cleaner. So like you should might want to go um, fire him. So they fired him. It was great. And then I saw him walking outside, like up and down the street, just high as hell off of that stainless steel thing. And I've, I've, um, and I thought, I'm like, what, where would you even start to, to use stainless steel cleaner, like spray, to get high off of like I that I wouldn't even th- if I'm like oh my god I'm just, I need to get so high right now I just want to get high that would not be the first thing I th- would think about I wouldn't even think that could be a possibility uh like I well like I know you can use um that spray that you put on keyboards keyboard spray I know you can do you can uh what is it whippets that's a thing I've seen I was so great I went to this part this go away party this is a while ago this is like a couple years ago uh I went to this going away party for this comedian because he was moving to Chicago because uh, he was doing something. I think he started working on some radio show or and then he was starting to become a headliner in like a Chicago, bunch of Chicago places. And when uh, we were at the party, like it was there was like no drinking. There was like no smoking pot, but there was just a bunch of guys doing whippets and they would just ask us like, hey, you want to you want some whippets? And it's like, no, like I'm good. Like, I, like there's no alcohol and like there's no there's no pot or anything like that like no man we're just getting high off whippets this is the this is fun i'm like well getting high off whippets is not fun i've never done it never wanted to do it because i never th- i thought we thought it was kind of stupid I'm like mm, there's if i'm gonna get high i'll just smoke pot like there's a reason why like weed and need rhyme there's, like that's all you need weed is all you need you don't need anything crazy you don't have to do whippets you don't have to like take whipped cream cans and like slightly like slightly push the edge and breathe in like and the only reason I know that is because I've asked my friends who've done whippets these aren't the ones that are the doctors and the lawyers we both I think we figured that out that's easily that was that was easily understood John and so uh, getting high off stainless steel cleaner just seems like such a horrendous high too and I can only imagine like the come down must feel like Jesus taking a giant shit on your chest. That's the only thing I can think of that I could feel like. Because I have a friend who I guess you can get uh, you can um get high off. Was it Cuban? Cute, not Cuban. Um, God, I can't remember that. That there's a there's some sort of powder. Uh, not powder. Yeah, there's a powder. It's not Cuban that you can. Uh, Cin- not cinnamon is it cinnamon that you can get super fucked up off of like my friend was talking about it and she's like yeah i used to do it uh but it feels like absolute shit and you feel like shit like the next day i'm like yeah like you feel like a shit you feel like shit like off of like doing a lot of things like ecstasy you feel like shit mushrooms you kind of uh, a little bit uh you know i'm um, like the only ones that like i never felt like weed of course you just are hungry and i'm just hungry that i go to my sleep or I beat off or something like that like it's pretty easy 
And I keep looking at myself over here. You know what's so great about wearing these glasses is the fact that, like, I don't have to look directly into the lens. I can look over to the side uh, monitor, and I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, yeah, I look so good. I look so, I look so damn good in these glasses. And surprisingly, guys, like, it's pretty bright on set, but then when you put the sunglasses on, you just block out all that light, and it's it's almost like it's almost like I put some like ND filters on my eyes. It's really great. It's a good time. So, but yeah, don't don't huff shit. Like, don't do that. There's no absolutely there's absolutely no need to be doing dumb stuff like that at all. But yeah, that's the story. I caught a guy huffing paint. No, you're not huffing paint, but huffing uh, stainless steel. Because like the thing is like the only thing I would ever think of like is huffing paint. Like that's the only thing I've ever known. And maybe I'm so elementary when it comes to things that you can huff. Because uh, paint and the whippets. But I don't think you can huff with it. You just suck it in. I guess huffing is a form of blow inhaling. So it's gross. It seems horrendous. Please don't do it. Don't do it. But if you have done it, please tell me. Write a comment down in this like thing. He's telling me yeah, your crazy uh, huffing stainless steel spray. Because if you've done that, that's kind of weird. <laughs> but I would love to hear it. I would love to hear about it. So what else do I have? Um, do anybody else have like crazy, crazy grandmas, like teenage grandmas? Like does anyone? Am I the only one? So my grandma, she will call me. And she's like, hi, Juanito. Juanito, how are you? I'm like, I'm doing good. She's like, she's like, Juanito, I had a dream. And in my dream, there was a coyote. I'm like, okay, Grandma. Well, I'm like, well, all right. She's like, yeah. And in his mouth, he had a cactus. I'm like, he had a cactus? She's like, yes, Juanito. Are your feet... Are your feet okay? And she's she asks the most randomest things. Like she connects like the weirdest things to together. It's like how do you connect a coyote in a desert with a cactus and then like connect it to my feet? Like how is that in any way related? I'm like, well, they're they're okay. I'm like, they're you know they're all right. I'm like, they, I, you know, I I'm, I work a lot on my feet. She's like, I I pray for you, Juanito. I hope that only the best for you. And you're like, when when you're so far away. And I don't get to see you and hug you. My heart, my heart burns. And I'm like, okay, grandma, thank you for like, why do you sound like a novella right now? Like, why are you talking to me like a novella? novella? And it's, you know, but it's great. Like Latino, like that Latino love and that passion is so intense. And <laughs> especially like Latin women, like to their sons and then like grandmas to like their grandsons. It's, it's absurd. Because she's always just like, hi, Juanito. I worry about your hands. And I worry about your skin. I'm like, why Why you say that, like my skin? She's like, yeah, I had a dream that you shed. Don't forget who you are. I'm like, okay, Grandma. I'm like, okay, you're done. Like, please stop. Like, I love you so much, Grandma. But you got to stop doing this stuff because it's kind of weird to me. <laughs> but she's a great lady super nice lady like i mean like she's adorable like she'll see me like i'll go down to honduras she'll like and she's like hi juanito hey como estas how are you and she'll like she'll grab me and just kiss me mwah, 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 mwah. i love you i love you so much juanito I'm, mwah, mwah, mwah. I'm like okay grandma all right thank you so much she's like, you want tortillas you want tacos and i'm like I don't care anything. She's like, Ay, okay, I will make everything for you. And I'm like, Grandma, you don't have to spend all this time. I'm like, Grandma, I, I work in kitchens too. Like, let me help you. And she's like, no, you sit down. You relax. I'm like, oh, man, okay, all righty, okay. And it's just such an awesome culture thing. And it's one of the greatest, like, I hope y'all get to have that kind of love someday. Or you have that kind of love because it's an amazing, amazing love that you have. That a, a grandma, an abuela has for her grandson it's like but she's like so dramatic hi juanito hi hi juanito it's like, thank you grandma i love you so much like if you're watching i don't know if she watches because she can only speak in spanish so remember like everything she says to me is always in spanish so it's never like and so uh it's a uh, interesting time oh 
an interesting movie you guys should check out. It's, I guess, a documentary on Netflix. So it's called Love on the Spectrum. If you haven't checked it out, you should definitely should. I feel like this should be a segment on, my, on the podcast now. I should always recommend a new show or something. Show, a movie, documentary, something for you guys to watch for the week. And then tell me how you guys like about it, if you guys like it or not. But it's called Love on the Spectrum. And it follows around. And I used to, I was like, when I first heard about it, I'm like, reality television. I'm like, oh. And I'm like, you're, it's, it was Australian. I'm like, oh, I'm like, okay, maybe. Like, because I like a lot of their, I like a lot of their feature films that come out of Australia. So I'm like, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe this is what works. But I'm like, what is it about? And as I looked at the, like, the synopsis, and it's about, they follow around some people who, are on the spectrum of like autism and I'm like mm, I don't know if I really want to watch any of this because I always feel like that kind of stuff is exploit exploitatory and like they're just exploiting these people and I'm like mm, I don't like that idea it doesn't seem like a good thing to be doing and so I was but I, I watch it and it's the most purest thing in the world like you just like it you see all the bullshit that we do as I guess what you call normal people or people who are on, on the spectrum how we 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 layer so much bullshit when we like date or when we meet people and these they're just like they'll go on a date and they'll be like 20 minutes and they're like i don't you are nice but i don't want to be with you bye and they just walk away and it's the greatest thing in the world and like there's just so much layers of non-bullshit that's with them and it's a it's a good show i so i recommend that i re- i i heavily recommend that you watch love on the spectrum it's really good really good it will make you feel good. It will make you feel so nice because the whole time you're just smiling. There's like a guy named Michael who's adorable. Calvin's adorable. And it, and the, like you used to see these people who have like all these words. Like they'll be completely normal. Like there's this kid like he's like super like fidgety and he's just like, uh-oh. Uh. He says, uh, like I don't like being around people. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I, don't, I like you. I like you, bro. And then like you start seeing him playing pool and he becomes like a normal bro. He's just like he becomes like a normal dude who's just like running the table on it. And he's like, you know, he's autistic. So like he's able to he has the super focus. And he's just like, yeah, I see every shot before it happens. Like I can just like see it and I just like picture it and I figure out a, the way and the angles I want to shoot it and I just get it done. I, I just do it. And I'm like, that is, that, that is awesome. And it, very good watch. So please watch it. And like 98% of people who've watched it like it. And I don't know who the fucking 2% would not like it. It's like, how can you not like this? It's like, it's adorable. There's no cussing. There's no profanity. There's no like twerking. There's nothing weird and fucked up. It's just like these people on the spectrum. And you learn a lot about that. And you also learn a lot of, you see a lot of, the mirror gets put onto you as the filmmaker. They put the mirror onto you and they kind of like, look at the shit. Look at like how much bullshit we do as just normal people, quote unquote, normal or not on the spectrum. But the only, the only bad thing I would say is that they introduce people, but then they kind of like go away from it and they bring them back. And that's kind of like the only jarring thing, but it's not that bad. It's only a couple seconds of it. So it's, it's good. Check it out. Um, what can we talk about? What else do I have to talk about? Um, oh, I want to take a moment. This is for all the black ladies out there. I want to give you, I want to give you guys a, uh, you know, a cheers because black ladies have changed the standard for how booties are. Have you ever, you know, it's like Instagram has, cr- is crazy. Like you check out all these, like these girls in butt with big butts and you're like, uh, like different. Like everyone, like everyone has to step up their game. Guys have to step up their game. Girls have to step up their game. Everyone has to step up their game. Like we all have to do like legs. We realized, we realized how important leg day is now. It's, it's great. It's such an odd, it, it's such a weird thing how history is going to look back on that. History is going to look back on that. And it's going to be a weird, 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 weird time for us. Right? <laughs> it's, it's absurd. These classes are absolutely absurd. Uh, so yeah, well, man, like, huh? Well, uh, this like so, I guess like talking about Instagram and like that. So I have this like, I'm trying to become like friends with this football player, this NFL football player. It's really in, it's insanely stupid on my end, but it's funny as hell because I'm like, so I you know we'll post pictures and I I do stuff like you know hey check out my podcast hey you know, this is a f- picture I've taken like like it please like this is my way of trying to get some attention from people it's awesome when you go to therapy you really realize this and you like then you become an artist and you're like 
oh, I see where I'm damaged. And I, I used to think that like if I went to therapy that I was going to lose all my creativity, but all it did was able to have me tap into other like treasure chest of bullshit that I have that just, that just sit like right here on my chest, like sit right here, this level of horseshit. All of, like the bullshit I've ever dealt with and traumas just sits right here. So, but what, uh, so he, this like NFL football player who plays with the Chiefs, he's a, was one of their draft picks this year. He comments on my pictures every once in a while. And so then I send him a direct message saying like, hey, you know what? Like if you ever need any pictures taken or anything like that, need anything uh, personal done for you, like film wise or audio wise, like hit me up. Like I can definitely do that for you. But now I'm like, <laughs> like, so like I'm always like liking his pictures and like commenting on his stuff. And it's like really funny because it reminds me of when I was, I used to date a, a NFL full player, like a middle linebacker who played in the NFL. I used to date his baby mama. And I don't know if that's like the most correct way of like saying it, but like, that's how she would always say it. She's like, I'm such and such baby mom. I'm like, Oh, that's cool. I'm like, that's awesome. And I remember meeting him once, like driving in a, like in the pasture seat of a Cadillac that probably he bought her. And I'm like sitting there and I see him and he's like, Hey, what's up? I'm like, Hey, I'm, I'm drawn. And we shook hands. This is back when you could shake hands with people. I remember shaking his hand and being like, good God, you could easily break me in two. And I'm like, I'm a decent guy. I weigh 200 pounds. I'm 6'1", 200 pounds. And I'm like, good fucking God. He could just pick me up and just just shatter me in two. And that's where you really see where we're not all creative. E- we're not all created equal here in this world physically. It's like you are a fucking dauntess. Good God. No wonder you fucking... You can, tackle the shit out of people woof and i just was every time i'd see him i'd be like oh don't ever do anything stupid john don't ever and just what now when i now when i watched him on tv i'm like you are a gazelle like you are a gazelle holy hell like oh my god like it's just insane how, how big these people are um but yeah I, i'm like a two minute warning two minute warning guys um so yeah, if you've gotten this far, I really do want to say thank you guys so much for watching. It's probably been a weird episode because I'm in glasses, right guys? You know, like something like that. You know, look at those eyes. And uh, yeah, but I hope you guys are doing swell. hope you guys are doing safe. I really do. I hope you guys are doing well. Because uh, I pretty much like, there's some stuff I didn't talk about, but I'm not going to really go into it. But if you've, if you've gotten this far, please like this video. Give this a thumbs up. If you leave a comment, that's cool. Like what's really better if you just like give a thumbs up to the video it, it, those show me how many people are watching or how many people have like interacted with it and like you don't have to leave a comment just all you have to do is just push the thumbs up that'd be great beautiful It'd be the perfect thing you could do um stay safe guys wash your hands you know wear the mask just be safe uh don't forget houston astros they cheated to win the world series last year don't fucking forget about that bullshit and do you guys see the fucking fight that just went down with the Astros and uh, Astros and the Oakland Athletics? You should Google that. Just Google the brawl that happened. Uh, this comes out on Tuesday, so it would have happened on Sunday, I think. But it was awesome. It's hilarious. Like they hit a player from Oakland, and then he ended up like charging. And then, like, all my friends are like, wow, that's how you're going to get COVID. I'm pretty sure someone got COVID in that fight. But anyway, guys, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please give it a thumbs up. My eyes will be better next week. I'll probably still be in glasses, but I will not have these um, grandpa shades on anymore. Or I might just wear them now. Maybe this might be my thing. Maybe this is the thing that I'm like, I, I've been looking for. I need to trademark these big over-the-top glasses that you wear over your glasses. So anyway, stay safe, guys. I'll see you guys next week. All right. Uh, bye.